morning, everyone. A very happy Friday to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us for our second virtual visit of the week. We are very spoiled, very lucky indeed. My name is Kip. I'm a member of the Juice Crew. And if this is your first time joining us for one of our live virtual visits, then let me give you a bit of a background. So usually our Juice Crew are on site at the Queensland Children's Hospitals and throughout Queensland filming and creating amazing experiences with kids. But in light of the current situations, we've got a change in precautions and visit the restrictions to keep all of the kids in healthcare working safe. So we've come up with these, our virtual visits, and this is our way of connecting the kids in the hospital with some really amazing people across the world. And we've been so lucky over the last couple of weeks with the people who have given up their time to join us. And today is going to be no different, but before we introduce him, it is time to introduce you to our three super hosts who are joining us for today. First up, we have Asha. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> good morning, Asha. How are you? I'm good, Tip. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad that you can join us today. I'm curious. I just saw behind your head you've got some beautiful little butterflies. Yes. These are from my friends in the hospital. We've got Kirsty and Bee. They just made me this, well, their auntie made me this beautiful blanket and it came with a butterfly and the box. And a lovely little heart. Oh, that is beautiful. Big shout out to them. Maybe they might yes. have a couple of Thanks. custom orders coming their way after seeing that. <laughs> and how are you feeling about joining us for our virtual visit today? I'm ecstatic. I am so nervous, but also very excited. Nerves are good. Butterflies, as you can see behind yes. you, are good. They're good things. Good things to have. All right, you hang there. We'll come back to you shortly. Let's now meet Thomas, who's also going to be joining us today. Guys. Hey, hey, guys. How are you? Yeah, not bad. How are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking. How are you feeling about today's virtual visit? Yeah, well, a little bit nervous. <laughs> you yeah. kind of have to be. It's Jack Sparrow. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Captain, Captain. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> We better make sure we get that right. <laughs> We're so glad that you can join us, Thomas. Also joining us today, we have Gabby. Hi. Good morning, Gabby. So great for you to be able to join us this morning. What about you? Are you feeling nervous, ecstatic? What sort of feelings do you have going on? I'm really nervous, but I'm also so excited. Excellent. All right. Well, you hang in tight there. We're going to introduce our special guest, Asha. Let's head back to you for a moment. Do you reckon we get things started? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, let's get ready to welcome our special guest for today's virtual visit. Three, two, one, action. Welcome to JCTV, Captain Jack Sparrow. Yay! The legendary pirate and irreverent trickster of the Caribbean has returned for another adventure with the kids at the Queensland Children's Hospital. If one thing is true, you'll never forget this episode of Juice TV and you'll always remember the name Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Captain Jack, you're on. Hello. I'm on with the best. You look fabulous. Um, where are you coming I'm, to us from at the moment? I'm not. I'm not drinking this. Good. How much have been? Sorry, what happened? What, did, what happened? How are you? Um, we're fabulous. Asha. Welcome, welcome to Jim's TV. This is Asha. Hello. Much love. It's so Much lovely love. to meet you. Thank you for coming to this special visit. I'm quite mad. I should be thanking you for allowing me. In a, in, a, in, a, in a land that I haven't been to in quite a while, I'm back here. Even though I don't know if it's a 
Captain Jack, I think we might be having a few little um, audio issues there. I can only imagine that you're yeah. on, on the black on the black pearl or in some far, far away land. Can you move a little bit closer to your um, sense of technology that you've been able to acquire? Uh, somebody stole. It. Somebody gave this to me. <laughs> Um, gift. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like something that you wash at the bottom of the, of the wagon board. <laughs> Captain Jack. Trick. Hello. Hello. What have you been up to Is lately? It Asha or Asha? Is it Asha or Asha? Asha. 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 Yes. You prefer Asha. Asha. It's like tomato, tomato. Or tomato, tomato. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's a red thing. How are you? I'm I'm wonderful. How are you? You look lovely. I'm, I'm I am you. just peach creamy. Peach creamy. Peachy keen. Or peachy keen if you like. It's up to you. Well, you look lovely, you look wonderful. <laughs> What's going to happen? Are you going to ask me a question? Will I be scared? Yes, I have many questions for you. Um, oh, good. Are you happy for me to just dive right in? I would if I were you or me. Okay. What would, be the, theme song, what would be the theme song of your life today? Right now. Ooh. This is the rough one. I will have this There's a song that's in the future, in the past, but the future past, but exists now, even though it is molecularly, it should be. Uh, it's, it's a song by Charles Trey. They invented the mayonnaise. Uh, and the song is called La Mer, and La Mer it means uh, it means the sea. It's a very beautiful song, and I've loved it all my life since I've been even born. Right about I think. Sorry. approximately. That's that's beyond the sea. You have to Captain there's also there's also a version by a man named Bobby Darren who come alive in a few hundred years and and, and, and he, he sang it, the song called Beyond the City and it's it's it's, it's just magic lovely anything to do with the sea it sounds like is a little bit of a winner but Captain Jack I'm just going to pause you there for a second do you think we might be able to or that there might be a ship hand or someone that you might be able to get to help you reconnect to our call so we can see if we can get some better audio with you. Yes, I have a weapon. I'll push him into it. I mean, I'll okay. talk to him. <laughs> you, you work on that for a second. And Asha, let's come back to you. I'm keen to know, put that question back on you. So Captain Jack's favourite song or like a theme song for his life was La Mer or anything to do with the sea. If you had a theme song for your life, what would it be? Well, my life is for me right now. Maybe right now. Well, I woke up with a pretty bad head, so maybe what's the name? Uh, India, we sing it for me. My sister's here with me. You spin my head right, right round. That would have you to be spin my head. <laughs> Around. Well, I am sorry that you've woken up with a headache today. You're doing an incredible job of being live on TV and hosting something so special with Captain Jack. Well, I'm pretty excited, so the headache's kind of fading away. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to hear. What did you think of Captain Jack when you first saw him and started talking to him? Oh, that made me so nervous. <laughs> I just, it, it's, I can't believe it's real. Like, can't believe he's actually there and he said my name <laughs> multiple times <laughs> oh he's a bit of a character isn't he yeah i wish i could hear him better 
Yeah. I feel like I missed so, a few things he said, but that's all right. We'll we'll reconnect. That's why we thought we'll get his ship hand to help out. Um, you know, he is on the other side of the world. Um, tree. He's in at the moment, so hopefully um, we will. I think I just got word he could be back on the line. So let's see if it's a little bit better now. Captain Jack, how's this? <laughs> what is this machine? I dislike this horrible machine. Thank you. But it is lovely. Is this your first one on a video chat? How's this? Is this all right? <laughs> no, we can't see you. Hang on. Hang on. Much better. Very strange. Asha! Is this your first video chat? Is this your first is video is chat? Is that a trick question? Is that a trick question? No, is this the first video chat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel I have chatted all, all the, with all the illogical uh, science and therefore if I was seen doing it then I must have been on the video chat. Chat. <laughs> I'm really quite quite dense in the uh, oh, you know uh, response uh, uh, it's, it's it's there's something that goes there's an air con i have air conditioning built in up here to the black hell sorry you have air conditioning built into the black hell well, sometimes, sometimes I can, like, there are holes in the back of my hat from bullet holes, and I learn, ooh, sometimes when the wind blows just that perfect gust, and it goes straight through, and you go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Which, is, by the way, let me ask you, because I, I remember, I remember that I had to shave, uh, I, 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 I was, I, I'd shaved my head. And um, that feeling was, uh, it was like a superior freedom. Mm. Yes, like, when I shaved my head for the first time. It, it was yeah. very, very exciting. Well, it's, it's, it's almost like you're dropping some kind of, it's like some section of uh, weight. Yes. You know, uh, yeah, some, I had some responsibility. Long hair. And when I shaved it off, it was, my mum did it with me and we were both pretty excited. It decided to do it for a fashion statement before it went completely bald. And yeah, it was, it was a pretty beautiful moment. I, I felt the weight as well. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you did because, yeah, it's 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 a, yeah, it's that process of just sort of, all right. There are things to deal with in life. I can let go of this particular little annoying bit right now and then <laughs> move forward. Yes. By the way. You look lovely. You, you're very beautiful, like that. Where is your Where is your very beautiful <laughs> mum? She's right here. Bye. Bye. Thank where is you very beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Jack. Oh, sorry. Who was I talking to? Sorry, that was the handsome nurse over there. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, you're handsome as well. <laughs> where is the handsome nurse? I've not seen him, her, her, it. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. He left. He left. Haha. <laughs> I've got another question for you. I've got a few more questions for you, actually. Um, what does your dream on? 24 hours look like? Ooh. If I were to be dreaming. Do I understand the question? No, no, no. no. So, like your ideal 24 hours. 
Oh, that old chestnut. Oh. <laughs> I must say that first water. Water. Water? As opposed to as opposed to rum, even. Water, as in the ocean, the sea. The ocean, then, yes. Right? So you get the ocean and all that, and, and, and then you've got around you is like a bunch of sand, and then there's this horrible hot light comes out of the top of the sky. <laughs> Very hot. Makes you get all sweaty and smell funny and then uh, uh you're happy i don't know why that works that way but this is how it does it yeah what an answer that i was Would, expecting have you ever have you, what happened to me <laughs> no, I was just saying that wasn't an answer that we were expecting. But, Asher, before you ask any more questions, do you think, Captain Jack, we could introduce you to another patient that we have on the line? Her name is Gabby, and she needs to head off for an appointment shortly. So we'd love to just introduce you to her. Here she is. Uh, Hi. Hello, Gabby. Hi, hello. How are you? Is there a great, is there a, like a 30 minute delay between us? What was that, sorry? Exactly, is it? When I say something, do you hear it about 15 minutes later? <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I see I don't get this stuff with all the colours and pictures and things and all the... It's very strange. But you look very lovely and very beautiful. And oh, that is a lovely you. hat. Thank you. I have some questions. Would I be able to ask you some? I shall give you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, you. So help me out. Help. If you, if you could be any animal, what would you be? A ferret. Why is that? A ferret. Because there are times when one gets thrown against the wall, and again. And one woman is thrown against the wall. One wants to be a ferret, but it doesn't actually have a backbone. So it, 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 if it hit, I have been told. I have been told that a ferret can hit the wall at maximum speed and bounce off with nothing but a smile. <laughs> we we haven't <laughs> but, but that, that, Captain that is Jack. an animal that. That is an animal that protects itself and, and, and is loyal to its fact that it has no backbone. Isn't it? Isn't that? Very nice. <laughs> How old are you, Gabby? Oh, I'm 17. So am I. Oh, really? And a half. And a half. Oh, yeah. I mean, who's counting, really? Why would you? Why would you? You certainly wouldn't. Nor would I. Seventeen. Can I have another question as well? I have another answer. What is, what is your favourite food? Liquid or solid? Solid. <laughs> solid? <laughs> Monkey. Oh, nice. We're not just, no, that's not, no, 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 that's not, no, that's not, it's not really fair to say that because monkeys are so nice and I know that I'm very, very closely related to them, obviously. No, not monkey. Hang on. Fish. I want the fish. Ah, what's the fish that has two eyes on the same side of the head? The other one. Halibut. Halibut? <laughs> I have no idea. I like to be. A, I think it's called a halibut. A halibut, just for the halibut. 
Sorry, that's not considered, that's not considered cursing, really. Pip, don't yell. No, we'll, we'll have a discussion about that later. <laughs> what about you, Gabby? Do you have a favourite animal? Um, yeah, my favourite animal is a dog. So is mine. Really? No, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> do, you, uh, do, you have, do you have a doggy? Yeah, I have a dog at home. I miss him a lot. Does it have a name? Yeah, his name's Max. Ever so sorry again? His name's Max. Mix. <laughs> oh, <like> Max. Max. <laughs> Max. Mix, Max. Max! Yeah, Max. Yeah. Oh, I know. Captain, I know. Captain Jack, I know. we know that you've, you've, you've sailed a lot and gone around the seven seas, but Gabby's actually from New Zealand. Not sure if you've there ventured. Are nine seas, you know? There are nine seas. No one listens to me. <laughs> Well, do any of them have Actually, have any of them ever taken you to New Zealand? Because that's where Gabby's from. Are you from New Zealand? Yeah, I am. That is probably right about the top of my list. Um. Because when I was in Australia, which I really love Australia, I was concerned ever so slightly about the idea that everything that you look at, touch, or look at you wants to kill you. Poisonous trees <laughs> and pigs and mushrooms and nuts and strange animals. And in New Zealand, nothing wants to bite you. Therefore, yeah. I have purged the absolute truth out of myself, and I think I shall be setting sail for New Zealand. Give me your address, young lassie, and I shall arrive with flowers and all sorts of dazzling. That would honor. be cool. <laughs> I, 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 I will. Where do you live in that place, New Zealand? I'm from Christchurch. Oh. That must be a <laughs> very... You alone? I mean, is that a place? Or a... Is, it a... is that a wooden building or is it a... Ah. It's a place. It's like a, a church. city in um, the South Island. Ah, the South Island. Yeah. Yes. I marauded there once. <laughs> but you know what I, what I did was I decided I brought I brought all kinds of um, spices. But they I'd made a mistake very itchy. But maybe why is there nothing poisonous in this? Do you know why there's nothing what, what poisonous in New Zealand? Oh, no, I don't. Poisonous. I have always thought about that, though, that it's pretty safe. It is curious. You think someone's made a deal somewhere along the line that they haven't told me or us or you or me or us? There's a possibility. You're not that far from Aussie land, eh? Wasn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. No, Let me it's ask you pretty a question. Close. Indeed. If you had the chance to say, for example, travel through time, which in a curious way is sort of sort of feels like, because we it's yesterday and tomorrow for you, because it's last week for me in this particular time zone, which is very strange. But I like. Yeah. Um, um, so, 
if you could travel back in time or if you could travel into the future what would be your main interest it's quite an intellectual question wasn't it jack yes, it was jack sorry um i would travel back into the past i think lovely yeah do you, do you know an era or an epoch that's that, by the way, is a 50 cent word. I've got some 75 cent words coming later. <laughs> Do you know when you'd like I've to travel working. back to, Gabby? <laughs> um, no, not exactly. What would you mm. suggest, Captain Jack? Where, where would you suggest traveling back in time? Where would you go? For Gabby? We have to give us some very serious. Gabby, how are you? I would read that in the centuries that I am in, and even now, it, it's really sort of a parallel universe, and we can, you know, I mean, I can talk all that sort of astrophysics stuff if I want to, but I'd rather drink rum. Uh, however, uh, um, I think that you, what is your age, me love? I'm 17. Someone may want to swat at me and and even even make contact with one of my jowls for saying this, but there is a book that I read right round your age when I was another person. Yeah, you know, the um, <laughs> There is a book. <clears throat> Hang on one second. So that maybe there's a book that I. I I'm Johnny. <laughs> There's a book that I read when I was about 17, 18 years old. When I want, and, and I read the, th my brother gave it to me and I read it. I, 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 I ate it. I ate the book. Um, because it was so, so far away from. from close to and it was a book by of all people uh, the not all that misogynist not so misogynistic ultimately but very um bright light in literature at the the late teens oh, early twenties Captain Jack Ernest before you do the Ooh, ooh. Before you, but sorry, before you do the big reveal, I think maybe you might have had a microphone, maybe or something. Yeah, I can't really audio. hear. You seem you seem a bit muffled, and I feel like you're about to announce us announce a really great book for Gabby to read. So maybe just did you have a I'll microphone on? Or? No, I don't have a microphone on. Oh, great. Okay, no, this maybe is good. we can hear you better now. I know exactly what you're saying, and what you want me to do is go straight back to Willy Wonka and say, Mumbler! <laughs> and maybe move a little bit closer to that strange device in front of you. If I get any closer, I'll be on the other side of it, and we'll be looking at each other's back. <laughs> and mine's okay. quite hairy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I'm on fire. Uh-oh. Just, just for a moment. Uh -oh. Ooh, ooh, stepped on it. Stepped on it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I reckon we? that'll be better. Hello. Okay, over to, over to you. Now you can tell Gabby, um, as Johnny or Captain Jack, Hello. what book you would recommend to her. There's a book. There's a book that, uh, as I was saying, there's a book. There's a book that I found incredibly uh, 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 inspiring and very and just, just, just it, 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 it added it, it added something to my life that seems so far away and it, and it and ultimately 
It was far away, but... but... You know, as, as, as with anything, life is what? It's a, it's a series of movements forward. Um, and with every step, we, 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 we understand ourselves better. The better we understand ourselves. Oh, Captain Jack, there's like, your audio. What's happened? Your audio, I'm so sorry. Your audio seems to be dropping out again. I tried to pay the audio. Yeah. Stay there. It stay there. Listen. Ooh, ooh. Hello. That's great. Okay, Hi. Gabby needs to run off to her appointment. So, what's the book? Who does? Gabby. What? I do. Gabby, don't leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I didn't have to. Well, this is not fair. All right, Gabby, here's the book. It's called A Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. Um, now, that's, that's a male writer. But, but, so for me as a kid, there was this image of this, this, this writer this, who went to the United States and went to the uh, Paris of the 20s and, and chronicled it. And so there's something very, very romantic about it. And that's, that's what I think sort of dropped the magic into my stuff about Paris. I'll have to check it um, out. But I have so many more. I'm going. I'll. I'll send. There are so many more. I'd love to 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 recommend to you. I'll I'll send them on to to Pip and get them to you. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Cool. That'd be thank awesome. You, thank you, darling. Thank you so you. much. No, no, thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. Oh, what a pleasure. Bless you, Don. I, 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 I hope to see you soon. I'll, I'll come over there or you, 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 you Yeah, come you come here. Yeah. Are you, are, you, are you on the Gold Coast and all? I'm in Brisbane. Oh, yeah, Brisbane, yeah. I know that place. I went there once. Yeah. With a... Ooh, Marilyn Manson was there. I remember that too. All so right, nice Gabby, to see thank you, you so much. I send you, thank you so I send much. You all, thank you, darling. I send all my love and my and, and my, my my respects and, 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 and keep moving forward, me down. Keep moving forward. Thank you. Love you. Amazing. Love you, thank you, Gabby. So uh, Captain Jack, we've been going live on this hello. thing called um, Facebook, not sure if you've heard of it, but we've been live on Facebook and we've had lots of people commenting in and watching so that the kids that aren't a part of the, uh, aren't in hospital at the moment or aren't part of our live stream can comment um, in and everyone is having a hilarious time watching you. So thank you so much. You're also streaming to all of the bedside patient entertainment systems in the hospital. So you're live. Asha has been waiting patiently. There she is. But Hello, Ash. Before Hello, we get back in. We've come to Jack. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Peter. No, no, I can be Johnny, Jack, Sp Sparrow, Reverend, whatever you like. <laughs> well, you call me whatever speaking you like. of which, I, um, I have a question for you. As Captain Jack Sparrow. Right. Um, if you were stuck, if you had to be stuck in isolation during COVID-19 on the Black Pearl, out of these four characters, who would you, one, um, make your first mate, two, scrub the deck, um, three, share your treasure with, or four, feed to the Kraken? Um, okay, these are the characters. Can you hear? Mm-hmm. I'm waiting. Okay. Edward I already have me in. Hey? Edward Scissorhands. Oh, cool bugger. Willy Wonka. Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. And Crybaby. What, what do I have to do with them? I have to let them... Okay. What? You have... They, they... 
four options. Your first mate, the other one you have to have scrub the deck, and the, share your treasure Willy with them or Willy feed to the Kraken. Willy Wonka will have to scrub the deck. <laughs> okay. Willy Wonka will have to face the Kraken. <laughs> what else could he do? Uh, Edwards is a man that should. I don't know, you choose that one. Just, he was awfully nice. Yeah. What do you think Edward, he should do? I think he should be your, either your first mate or share the treasure with him. Both. Both? Okay, what about Kai Baby? Both. Both? Yeah, or, or both. Or both. How many is there? All right. Oh, both and, of us. Uh, hang on, Asha, before you jump into your next question, I just want to get Thomas on the line because Thomas hasn't yet yeah, had yeah. a chance to meet Captain Jack. I've, He's been I've... waiting so patiently. This is Thomas. Hey, man. <laughs> Ooh, well, How's it going? Hey, man. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah, not bad. I'm confused yourself. by this. Hmm? Huh? How are you yourself? going? <laughs> yeah. No, very, as much as you can do. Very, very well. I'm confused by this. It is confusing she. Which, which way you need to um, move, but that's pretty good. Just make sure you stay nice and close so we can hear you. <laughs> so, oh, back Hello. to you, Thomas. You can run this, Thomas. It's yeah, all yours. Yeah, oh, Sorry, I just hit yeah. me ahead. It's fine now. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, so, uh, have you been to the Gold Coast before? I have indeed. You coming and again I've soon? Seen... <laughs> I don't know whether they have me back. I'm not sure. I would love to come back. Uh, yeah. We'd I had a you. ball there. <laughs> hmm? We'd accept you. We'd accept you back, mate. If if I have an in, if I have an invitation from you, that is an invitation that I will see. That was a bad thing. Terribly sorry. Um, uh, uh, if I have an invitation from you, that means it's an invitation from you. You happen to be from Australia, where that place is where you are, and uh, I love it. I'll tell you what. I've seen loads of hammerheads. Yeah. How how do they see it like that? How do they do? I, do they I couldn't tell you. Man. I can do it's, that. It's a bit of a trick. A hammerhead trick. <laughs> it's a Where are you trick. from, mate? Where are you I'm from? from the Gold Coast. Right, right up there. Oh, it's lovely, mate. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah, yeah no. I also noticed that there were plants that looked at me that wanted to kill me. They wanted to. They wanted to badger me. They marked me. They yeah. Made marks. <laughs> what? Yeah. They tend to do that. <laughs> it's a bit of a pickle. Are they be, why is there, Why is everyone poisonous? I mean, not. I mean, like the plants and things and the wee little lizards and the strange little things that bite and it suddenly it's. Poison. I don't understand it. But the sea life there, that's my dream, you know, the Great Barrier Reef. I want to swim round it several thousand times before I, so I can see every inch of it. Have you heard of it, the Great Barrier Reef? I, I have heard of the Great Barrier Reef. You know, I named it. It's a good looking children. Yeah, I haven't been there. I've, I've seen it over. A couple of things, except yeah. Well, let's go. Uh, yeah. When right. I get over there, when I get over there, where you are, we'll go together and we'll go to the Great Barrier Reef and we'll swim and we'll see probably fish that will scare us to where we could perhaps make an unpleasant mischief. <laughs> yeah, <perhaps>. right. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 
I reckon. Uh, what, what, yeah, right. what's, what you, what, what's your passion, mate? What's my passion? Surfing isn't bad. Do you want... Ah, you surf. Yeah, a little bit. Of course you do. You Here and then. Course. It's been... Lately I can't because of what's going on except... Sure, oh, sure, the, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Once, once it stops though, yeah, but... and we're done. We're gonna go. <laughs> That's that is a uh, it is a uh, these things come and they are they are uh, obstacles that we must face and uh, deal with and walk straight through it and win. That's all right. <laughs> I can for the amount of vision that I actually have left inside my head. Which is actually pretty good. Which is when I put down. So, so yeah, Thomas, man. I know yeah. that you, you had a couple of questions you for Captain be... Jack about Australia, oh. so we might have already covered that off. But did you have any other questions you wanted to ask him? Yeah, you oh, know, my ear was in... taken. Yeah. <laughs> in the background, if you stood back a bit, because I see there's a bit of background there, could you pop a dance move or a crew? Give us a pirate jingle. A pirate dance. Yeah. A pirate dance? Of course, can. Yeah. Hang on one second. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how many right. things that... that was great, but I feel like we're breaking a lot of things in your room there, Captain Jack. I've heard a lot of big noises. <laughs> don't worry about I don't don't worry about a thing, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> All right, and any more questions, Thomas, before we get into our game with um, Captain Jack? Oh. We have a game. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll go for the game. We'll go for the game. Hello. We'll go for the Alrighty. game. Okay, we're going to go for the game. Okay. Um, oh, wait, wait, you... before we do that, I, I, have... forgot, I forgot. You have a quest... I have a question for you. Do you have a question for me? We've got a couple of more questions for you. Is Pip, okay? you're taking so, up far too many questions yourself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I won't would. ask any more questions. So I will tell you that now we are going to play some questions that have been sent in by kids who either aren't in hospital at the moment um, or couldn't join us live today. So there's some pre-recorded questions from the kids. I'm not going to ask you if it's okay because I don't want to take up any more question time. So let's do it. Here are some questions from the kids. Oh, no. Hey Captain Jack, my name is Aroni and I'm at Mackay Base Hospital. I love watching your adventures and how you always seem to get the job done. I wanted to ask you a question about your accent. Where is it from and how do you not trip over while running in your pirate outfit? Thanks Jack. Well I'll tell you what mate, here's the absolute truth. One of the keys to being sparrow is that the water does make you want to fall down a bit and makes you feel a little bit woozy and so uh, yeah um yeah the, 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 the costume is quite heavy i'm quite not so interested in heavy but um, the other question, what was the other question about the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 Accent. Where's your accent? Ah, yes, the accent. So, so listen, my feeling is that Captain Jack Sparrow started out on a ship at probably the ripe old age of about four days old. 
and um, has been on a ship for the majority of his life, which is why he cannot stand on land and not move. Because he, he's got his seat on the ship, he's fine, but on land, he can't. If on land, there's no, I can't, I'm the answer. But I'm not sure, um, what about your accent? Did you answer where the accent Ah, the accent. <laughs> no, no, the accent. What's happened? Here's what's happened to me because I've been all over. I went to Tonga Tonga and uh, I couldn't spell it. I've been, I've, I've, I did some time in a in a school and uh, and then I did some time in a place in South London and I did a time in place in North England and then I, I did some time and then I was on a ship for the rest of my life. It came so from uh, here. Yeah. A couple of different <laughs> places. <laughs> I just caught a fly. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you really? No. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. If you did, that would have been pretty impressive. <laughs> I know. I will, though. Next time I see one, I will. <laughs> and I'll send awesome. okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. We've got another question which has come through from Isabella. So let's take a look at that. Hi, Jack. I'm a big fan of yours and the adventures you go on. My question for you is, why the obsession with eyeliner and why do you decide to start wearing it? Who did what with it? Oh! Ah. So, the, 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 the black brown me eye. All three, half of them, it's it's called coal. K O H J H A O H J C K H J C A K J H K. Hang on. K O H L coal. And it's what the verb is used in in bright sunlight when you want to see it takes away the glare from when you when you're looking at the heart of the island. Oh wow that's so interesting. There you go, did you know that Thomas? So not curious? I didn't I do now. <laughs> <laughs> see Maybe that? You can keep it in every day. It's, it's up here. <laughs> and I just and I just made it up. <laughs> here no, I was no, about no, it to is true, it is true. Oh, it is true. I was going to it's suggest true, it for no, Thomas. True. Maybe the next time he's out surfing, if there's a bit of glare out on the water, you might want to put some coal. Yeah, I, I need some charcoal. <laughs> I reckon next time. So check it. Did you ever see, like, 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 like for example, Amer American football, and they put the black line here yeah, under their eyes? Yeah, the wall paint. Right. What it is, the black. Yeah. It, 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 it's. It's a. Uh, it, it's a reflector of the sun. It, it takes down the reflection of the sun into your eyes. Terribly sorry. I don't know who that was who was just speaking, but he's not doing that. <laughs> he just slipped in there. <laughs> I know. It was really okay. weird. <laughs> who would have thought? Okay, um, we've got two more questions. This next one, I think you might remember um, who this is. This is an old friend who you met when you visited our hospital in 2015. It's Ula. Hi, Captain Jack, uh, it's Ulla here, and you may remember me as the girl who interviewed you around about five years ago, and I couldn't get your name right. Uh, it was pretty funny, and it was such an amazing experience being able to interview you and uh, to see you, and I really thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I've just come back to say a quick hello and ask a question. My question is, uh, who is your favorite musician? And why are they your favourite musician? Ooh. Oh. Oh. So beautiful to see you again. Yeah. And um, I remember our meeting very, very well. Um, like it was yesterday. Um, and you were so much fun with your mum. It was a wonderful time we had. Um, and my, have you grown up? And so 
survive even growing up. Not so much grown up, but um, now a bit taller. Um, let's see. Um, as far as what I mean, the idea of 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 of, of, of uh, being in or out of the constitutional diorama. I told you the 75 cent words were coming. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is if eat pickles uh, once a day with, with, a, with a very, very charged beverage in the morning, not alcohol, uh, something like a bit of a, a, a you know bubbly bit. I would drink that. Where is Zula? Always was a pre-recorded question, but I think she was asking about your favourite musician. But why doesn't she want to come back? <laughs> Actually, I think she was tuning in online on. Um... Oh, she's left me, Zula. All right, my favourite yeah. musician. <laughs> It's an impossible question. All right. I'm going to say many things. Uh, Jeff Beck. Um, Bach. Uh, Glenn Gould. Beethoven. Um, Beethoven. All six of the Baldwin brothers. Um, Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's on top. <laughs> I think Bob takes the top. All right. And Jeff. Bob and Jeff. Jeff and Beautiful. Bob. There's too many. They're all lovely. There's so, so many fantastic, brilliant. We totally hear yes. you. We really, we, we, it's hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> Has he taken over Bob or? <laughs> oh, God. I hope he doesn't take me over. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So we've got one more question, which is from all what, what, what's youngest. What's your favourite? What's happened? Who's youngest? I don't know. Who's we've your, got have one, we had a child one. together? <laughs> we've got one more question, which is from Ula's younger sister. Have a look. My younger sister, Safina, would also like to ask a question. So, Safina? Hi, Captain Jack. I was wondering, what's your favourite country you visited? My favourite country I've ever visited in the world was in Patterson, New Jersey. No, that's not a country. That's in the colonies and it's not even invented yet. Uh, favourite country? I think the first time I ever felt a sense of home, you know, that as I was growing up as a kid, I don't know that I felt a, a sense of home, or that kind of thing, and so, so I think France for me the first place I felt like um, I finally found, uh, yeah, my home. You know. Oh wow! Um, yeah. Asha, I think you actually that's like one of your dreams is to speak fluent French, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is. I'm very far off, but hopefully. No, you're day. not. Not anymore. Your me, I can teach you the whole bit. Even the <laughs> really bad words. We will we will not right. do that now. We will we will hold that for a later stage, but what do you reckon, Ashley? Should for we get time. Yeah, should we get Captain Jack um in for our game, our little challenge? Do you think it's time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Please Captain give me Jack, a game. I'm so excited. I don't want to wet myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it is time. Not yet. Keep, well, maybe by the end of the show, you'll catch a fly. But Captain Jack, it is time for us to play What Can You See, See, See? Okay. So these are the rules. Captain Jack. Asha, Thomas, you're all involved. What we're going to do is we've got a few pictures that we're 
we're going to show you, but we're not going to reveal the whole picture. We're only going to show some little zoomed up um, pieces of the picture of the puzzle, right? And then you need to try and guess what the picture is of. So it's going to be Captain Jack, you are going to verse Asher and Thomas together. Two, on, two versus one, but that's okay. We, we still think that's fair. Does this make so, sense? Okay. <laughs> Certainly. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, you're up first, Captain Jack. So keep watching the screen. What happened? You're going, to see part of, you're going to see part of a photo. Keep watching. Kind of a Here it is. Yes. yes. That's a very zoomed in part of a photo. Any guesses? We can give you a clue if you need, but any guesses as to what that might have been? Don't give me a clue. I'm not that nice. Um... <laughs> Wow, what is that? That is very yellow. That is a fortified lemon. Oh, close, but not close enough. Let us show you another photo and see if you can figure it out from this part of the image. I think Thomas might know what it is, but do you know, mm -hmm. Captain Jack? Thomas? I think that I am right on the exact same wavelength as you. Asha? Yeah, I, I know what it is. Exactly you. I think it's going to be toilet roll. <laughs> nope. Nope. What do you guys reckon, Asha and Thomas? <laughs> it's not going to be any sort of spread for toast or anything like that. Oh, could be it's getting toilet, warmer. Toilet roll. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I... Asha, what do you reckon no, it is? It's a, it's a mini bike. <laughs> a mini bike? I don't know. What do you think it is? I'll give it... I oh, listen. I'll give you... I'll give you 13 euros. Are we live? It's Vegemite. <laughs> it's Vegemite. I heard a dig. Ooh. That's what it was. And now I believe you, you owe Asher 13 euros. <laughs> I owe 13 euros. I, uh, as long as I owe you, we'll always be close. <laughs> All right. Now you know it's time for our... Our next picture, guys, this is for Asher and Thomas to try and guess. Let's have a look. This is part one of the photo. Any guesses, guys, as to what this could be? Hmm. My head. <laughs> My ear. Oh, it's not to me. You guys. <laughs> it... Is it Sorry. the back side of an elephant? Yeah, I kind of thought it was an elephant. I think we're going to give that to you. Wait, it was an elephant. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> All right. What? So... Did you say, oh. is it the back side of <laughs> Did you say, is it huh? the back side of an elephant? Yeah. I didn't say that. You, you're my hero. <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> For some right. backside of an elephant, you're my hero. On live TV. You're my hero, Asher, for thinking of it. I didn't oh. think it was the backside of an elephant, I thought it was the ear. You secretly thought it was the buttocks of an elephant. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, we'll say that. We'll say that. Asher. Asher and Thomas are on two points. Captain Jack, you're on none. So let's see if you can guess this next one. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Any ideas as to what this might be part of a, a photo of? My teeth. My gums. <laughs> my dentist. My vacation. It's so close to you, Captain. What is, what is this? It's something what quite happened? close to you. You know what it is. Mold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at, a look at <laughs> another photo. Um. Oh. No, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. 
goodness gracious, I can hear the sound of its tentacle being. Mm. That's the octopies. He's, Not he's, to be confused with the current pie rates on the market. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Get it? Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. I've got a business. <laughs> we can start doing some exercise. So, who is it, Captain Jack? You need to allocate the name. I have to see. May I see it again? No, I can't. You can see the Wait, close of the second photo again. Come on. Oh As God! Said, very it's, it's, close it's, to it's, you. it's a crack. Crack it, crack it, it's a crack, it's a crack. Is it? We need this. We that need was a horrible specific. noise. <laughs> Bob, Larry. <laughs> oh, oh. Close. Vegemite. <laughs> I give him a point. <laughs> Give him a point. <laughs> Thomas is in point. charge. All right, you can it, get a point. One day it may. It might be Vegemite one day. And it's, one. It, it's changing shapes and things and parallel universes and all that. We've discussed this before. Why I go back? <laughs> Asher Thomas' official name is. Sorry, is it an octopus? Kraken? I'm going to go Kraken. I'm going to do his answer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? Dundee. Dundee. A croctopus. Davy Jones. It's Davy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> I did not see that because, unfortunately, I had too many glances at the back of his head, which was revolting. If you have a look, if you just look at the film a little bit, the back of his head, things happen. It pulsates and moves around. It's very strange. I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't like it. But he's lovely. Look at him. Isn't he? Lovely. Look at him. Bless he looks him. so lovely. So lovely. Okay, our last one. Our last one is for the kids. No. All right. Thomas and Asha, look up and have a look at this one and see if you can figure out what this is from. I know, I know, I know, I know. What? You can, you can jump in if you think you know what it is. Oh, it's the black no, girl. No, I don't. Yay! The black girl. That is the rigging of the black pearl. Well done, mate. Thomas, you've got it. Asher, you knew exactly what he was thinking before he thought it. How did you read my mind? What? How did you do it? He knew the answer just before I even thought it and saw it once before but didn't even know it until you thought it and he said it. Very curious. He's, he's got a point. Okay. <laughs> he does have a point. Uh oh. She she uh -oh. she had she had it. <laughs> All right. Um, you good? Oh. You good? Oh. 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 These weird techn technology devices, they'll they'll fall over. They're not too sturdy. I can't even spit it. <laughs> well, I reckon uh, Thomas and Asher win that little challenge, but thank you very much, Captain Jack, for playing along. And to everyone who played along uh, at home, we've got loads of shout-outs going on um, on Facebook. They spanked me. Well, they hurt me bad. <laughs> Well done to our awesome hosts, Asher, Thomas and Gabby. Loads of people tuning in. So we're coming to the end of our visit now. Um, Captain Jack, thank no. you so much for joining us. Oh, you want to stay? Oh, no, I don't want to leave. Uh, 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 uh. 
been a couple of years since I've been there in Ireland and I miss it and I miss it and I wanted to come and say hello and I couldn't because of this. Some said, travel is very difficult, boats and all that, and you can imagine. But I, I had a lovely time when I visited that place before, and you were also very kind. And it was one of the most um, touching and satisfying and moving and uh, beautiful moments of my life. And um, just as this, this little visit has been with Asha and, and Thomas and Gabby and uh, yourself, um, it's, 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 it's a wonderful facility. Man, I am, I'm with all of you and I send you all my love and, and all my irreverence and all my ignorance because it's fun to be ignorant and irreverent sometimes. Um, and uh, you deserve you deserve to be if you feel like it. And um, I'm with you always. I love you. And uh, you can always find how to find me through Pip. Pip is my new representative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is very you, handy. I'm sure, have, I'm sure that I will. You I do that for that. me, Pip. Absolutely. Thank you so and much, because I, I need so much help. <laughs> there's a lot of kids that didn't get to join the call today, so this doesn't Why? have to be our final farewell. We can do this again and again. I, I, I'll, I'll keep coming back if you keep having me back, which I'll, is, I'll is kind of with... a... Uh, oh. It becomes a circle, doesn't it? We'll, I'll, we'll just keep... Yes. Why don't we just stay, just do this weekly, bi-weekly? Twice week, three weeks. <laughs> awesome. Will, we'll, I'll, now that I'm your new representative, I'll assess your calendar and we'll be able to find Thank something you. that works. <laughs> That's fantastic. Let me know when you find the calendar and then we'll find what works. Um, <laughs> awesome. I'm, hey, Thomas and Asher, I'm, I'm do you still, have any still... final... Go ahead, please. Sorry, I was, sorry. I was just going to ask if Thomas and Asher had any... Um, final things. Um, Thomas, anything that you'd like to finally say to Captain Jack or any shout outs to anyone in hospital? Yeah. C could you wish my girlfriend a happy birthday? It's, it's coming up. Absolutely, mate. What's, what, what's your Stephania. girl's name? Stefania. Right. Yeah. Stefania, your name is not my name. <laughs> Hence, it's your birthday and not mine. Happy birthday to you with much love and all that love and rum and stuff and love and and Thomas Thomas sends his love and we're all it's all about love, darling, really. Well that was quite that's quite poetic for a moment. I, I feel a bit moist in the air. Right anyway. Happy birthday. What happened next? I think what that's I one of now? the um <laughs> you didn't break anything. I think that's one of the best birthday presents. Well well played, Thomas. And what about you, Asha? Any final um thanks or any shout outs that you'd like to give? Yes, I do. I have two if that's okay. I've got um if you could, as Captain Jack Sparrow, say hello to my adorable little cousin Ellington in Canada. He would what, love, what's in there? love 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 Ellington. Ellington. Yeah, boy, little boy. Absolutely. How, how old is Ellington? He's six. Yeah. So, oh, perfect. We're about at the same level. Um, <laughs> well, in fact, he's probably got a lot on me. Um, Ellington, Ellington, me boy. How do you do? My name is. My name is. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It comes around late. Sometimes there's just a pause in the machinery. But, um, Ellington, I, I, I wish you the best in, in all that stuff. And 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 six years old is really quite uh, so far away from five, yet so close to seven. But but if you think about it the other way, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but I'll send you all respect and all my love. 
Thank you. And then um, my mom's best friend, Paula. She has, oh, Paula? if you could say this as Johnny, yes. Um, she's yes. spent her whole life just loving you. And I think, you know, it'd be wonderful if you could say hello to her. <laughs> Paula. That means, Paula? Oh my God, that means, that means that, that means she spends her entire life. That means that either she's a very, very, very young, and I'm very, very, very old, or I'm just very, very, very old. Paula, Paula, um, bless your heart. Thank you for um, thank you for being there. Thank you for. Thank you for um, all these years of interesting and beautiful uh, experiences um, everywhere I've been, um, and, and 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 the people that I've met, and all, all, all of you out there, and I, I feel very, very, very uh, blessed and lucky, man. Um, so yes, well. Uh, um, I, I send you all my love and all my respect and thank you for sticking with me through all these very strange um, years. That's what they say. I didn't say it's strange, but they say they're strange. <laughs> thank you so much, Johnny. Jack Sparrow. Oh, Ash. Thank you so much, Johnny. Oh, Ash. <laughs> um, you can call me anything you like, darling. You can call me anytime you want. Asha, thank you so much, sweetheart. And, and, and what a pleasure and an honor and... and, and uh, I'm here, kid, and then, and um, you say when you. <laughs> my representative Pip will, will will get you all in touch with me. I'm very easy to find. It takes to just, just pick up a shell and scream. <laughs> and um, what about? Thank you very much, Asha, for giving us those um, opportunity for those two shout outs. What about as Captain Jack or Johnny? We've got such an incredible hospital community from the patients um, to their families and their friends and the healthcare workers as either Captain Jack or Johnny. Could you just give a, another little message of love and support to our wonderful hospital community? Oh, absolutely. Um, um, I know that I look like I'm him. The sparrow man. But I'm actually in. I'm uh, hiding from him by pretending to be him. Get it? Doesn't matter. Um, I, I, I must. I must thank everyone um, um, who, who's made this 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 virtual visit possible because it. it I, I felt uh, quite enveloped, um, even by this uh, this curious machinery. Um, but to be able to see um, Asha, Thomas, and, and Gabby, and to see uh, you, my new representative, Pip, um, um, and I have been there, and uh, and I've seen um, the amount of uh, forward motion and an instant instant movement um that 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 go that goes down in in your kind of facilities you guys work all the healthcare workers the nurses the doctors everybody you work like absolute um heroes um um these these three beautiful young people that I've spoken with uh, uh, this evening and, and certainly, uh, you know, having heard from uh, some people who sent some of the videos in, like the Lula and all that, um, is, is one of the finest and most beautiful experiences that, I, that I've ever um, experienced and, and, and that is because of uh, uh, um, all of your commitment to to this project and to also just to taking care of one another to to helping out um 
when times are uh, curious and confusing and uh, we're all growing up together. In fact, I suppose legally I'm about two and a half years old. <laughs> Though I am a 2,000 year old man. But I thank you all for, for, for allowing me to, to have this time with you, you know, either as Johnny or as Captain Jack. It's been so special. Thank you so much for your time and all of the smiles that we felt joining you live um, across Facebook Live throughout the hospital, like your last visit that you did five years ago. It's going to be something that we will talk about in the many years to come. So, how will I, um, But now the smile is going to stay and then we have to hang up. But I want to go oh, well, the smile is so, it's going to stay. It, it will stay. Thank you for and we'll, we'll create more. <laughs> Thank you for the smiles, Thomas. Yeah, cheers, Jackie. Cheers. <laughs> My darling, Andrew. bless you, darling. Thank you so much. Gabby, Thank who you, had, to, had to wander, but I think she's in search of a ferret. <laughs> we'll let you know how she went. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's where I'm going. Um, th thank, thank you um, um, so much, Asha, you, 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 and, and Thomas, for your questions and your, and your, your dialogues, and, uh, and for Gabby, who was also very, very wonderful. And, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What do you guys want to do this again tomorrow? <laughs> awesome. Jack. See you then. Don't yeah. tempt me, I'll be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will, yeah. Have, a, have a good one. You say when. Thank you. Take care. Well done, Thomas. Well done, Asha and Gabby, and to everyone who joined in today. Thank you so much. Thanks, Captain Jack. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Yes, I hope so. I will. I will. We will, and we shall, and I will. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Take care. See you in the next time. Bye.